man. Oh. I'm a complete idiot. Okay. <laughs> so now you move back to the spirit realm to hold it. It won't fall back down if I'm in the spirit realm. That's fine. I'll, I'll get it later. I could have sworn I tried jumping on that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Alex, I'm... I thought I tried jumping on that in the spirit in the in the uh, material world, but I guess I didn't. Very strange. Cause I could have sworn I did, but I guess not. Okay. Now I probably need to switch back here. Oh wait. I should be able to soon, right? My life energy is... There it goes. Thank you for the help, Alex. I appreciate it. Okay, so... A block needs to go in there, and a block needs to go in there, right? Oh god, that was... Interesting. Are these blocks? They're not. Oh, he recorded a VHS for your walkthrough? Whoa. Are these two different blocks? What in the world? That's interesting. This is my first time playing this game. It's really good so far. the feeling that there's going to be a lot of block puzzles in this game. Is that not what I was supposed to do? Huh. Are you supposed to like match them up maybe? Oh, you gotta flip it. Yeah, I just saw your message. I just saw your message, yep. Okay. So... This one is facing outward. Which means... I gotta flip it. Like this. There we go. Oh, 
Perfect. Once again, thank you for the tip there. You gave me the tip at the exact moment I thought of it. Our brains are in sync right now. Let's go ahead and save real quick. And I am playing on actual Dreamcast hardware, by the way. I'm using my Retro Fighters controller here. Okay, finally a new area that I haven't seen yet. This is very refreshing for the eyeballs, let me tell you. And, of course, it's one big joke, because I have seen this area. Is this just a giant shortcut to get back to this spot that I'm already at? It's weird. You just give me another block. Oh, I gotta stack it, and then I can get up higher. Yeah, I'd always heard... I heard the Dreamcast version was the best. Whenever I bought my Dreamcast from someone on Facebook Marketplace a couple years ago, uh, they had this game with me. So, I got a pretty good deal on this game. And I've just been putting it off. I don't know why, really. I'm glad to finally be playing it, though, because I like it. I'm a big Zelda fan, so very, very Zelda-esque. Hey, how's it going, Woolberry? How are you doing? Is your... Your profile picture is a Legacy of Cain symbol, isn't it? I never played Dreamcast growing up. I just never had the chance to. I was a Genesis kid, like, through and through, though. You know, all my friends were playing Mario, and I was playing Sonic and Fantasy Star. Okay. Nice. That worked out perfectly. Well, I appreciate you stopping by the stream, Will. I do like it quite a lot so far. How is the audio balance, by the way? Can you guys hear the game okay? Is my mic loud enough and everything? I think my audio level should be okay. My controller keeps vibrating, so I have to... Oh, hey, look. Is it that? That's your... Oh, no. That's a different symbol. Okay, cool. Thank you, Will. Yeah, my... I had an aunt and uncle that had a Dreamcast, actually. So whenever I would go visit, I would play Sonic Adventure. Um, the demo... A, a demo disc that had Ready to Rumble. Um, and a couple others. Power Stone. And then I also... They also had uh, Sega Bass Fishing. And so those are the only Dreamcast games I had ever played up until literally like two years ago whenever I bought this. Okay. This looks like it's going to be a very elaborate puzzle. Can I climb this? Is this a ladder? 
No, okay. I was like, hold on. If you would like to know my full list of Dreamcast games that I have, um, if there's anything you want to see maybe later on in the stream at the end or something, type exclamation mark Dreamcast in the chat and it will uh, generate my list of Dreamcast games. I keep it updated. Ooh. got a, a modest little collection of Dreamcast games. Um, I also have a few N64 games physically. Um, I mean, most of the highlights, GoldenEye, Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Why is he <laughs> dangling his legs like that? Okay. Uh, is that a new spear? It's a pipe. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, physical is the way to go. Physical is just the way to go. When it comes to retro stuff, like I have, I have RetroArch. I've got lots of ROMs. I have a good digital collection of stuff. Um, but you just can't beat playing it physically on the original hardware for a lot of stuff. And I, I really think Dreamcast is one of the systems that is truly best experienced if you play it physically. So, I mean, I've got this one, I've got Power Stone, I've got Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, I've got Soul Calibur, um, Fantasy Star Online. I need to get that set up so that I can actually play it online. I, I don't have that set up right now. I know there's ways to do that. Okay, I think, is that the door that I came through? Yeah. So, I guess let's go see what, what's through this other door. Like I was saying though, if you want to, if you do want to see my full list of Dreamcast games, you can just type exclamation mark Dreamcast. Now after I pulled that push that button. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. Because I can guarantee you I would have completely forgotten about that. Yeah, I've got I've got a big shelf full of physical games. Oh, thanks, Aaron. There you go. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Whoops. There we go. What on earth is that? What the hell is going on? Yeah, I, it was, um, it's uh, some pie, like a dream pie or something like that, Will. I was actually looking it up today. I was doing some research on it. I think it's like 80 or 100 bucks, and you have to, it comes with like a fuse box thing of some kind. 
because it has to emulate like a modem and it's it's a very complex process but you can do it there are fan servers that are still going and then you can play any dreamcast game online i'll go back to the elevator Elevator, elevator. Where was the elevator? Elevator was not in this room. It was back here. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate the help. Don't feel obligated. If you get annoyed and don't feel like uh, giving any guidance, you don't have to. <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Modern vintage gaming? That's... A bit of an oxymoron, but I like it. I like it. That's my kind of gaming. I play a lot of retro on this channel. Yeah, I've got... For fighting games, I have Power Stone, Soul Calibur, and Dead or Alive 2. I think that's the only fighting games I have. I know Aaron just posted the whole list in the... Uh, in the chat. I think those are the only fighting games I have. Or oh, no, Ready to Rumble, I guess. I don't really like Ready to Rumble. I thought I would like it more. I don't like that game, to be honest. There we go. Okay. that there was a sound it was like a timer sound or something I guess I'm supposed to oh wait oh okay oh I've heard that's a good one I've heard good things about that oh you're playing the gears games which one are you on will that's cool that you stream as well. Feel free to um, put a link to your page in the chat. I'll follow you. If you'd like to follow me as well, that would be appreciated. I've only played the first Gears of War. <sighs> I just recently played it for the very first time. The Ultimate Edition. On, I played it on Series X. It was... Oh, that's a good remaster. I really enjoyed it. I haven't started the second one yet. I want to get through them all eventually. I'm in the middle of playing the Halo series as well. All I have left is Halo 5 before Infinite comes out. I never owned an Xbox growing up, so I'm trying to catch up on stuff. Oh, that's, that door doesn't open yet. came from here, didn't I? Whoops. This is where I came from, I think? Yeah. Whoops. The original Soul Calibur on Dreamcast really holds up incredibly well. That game still looks amazing. Oh, that's cool. You're you're on Gears 4, so you're making pretty good progress. Welcome. Hey, Will, thank you. Thank you, Will. Appreciate it. Okay, where am I supposed to go here? Maybe I'm supposed to... Uh, I'm supposed to shift over? can't open doors in spirit world. Nope. Is that what you meant to say, Alex? That I'm not supposed to shift over? Ooh. 
There's a lot of these like holes on the walls that make me feel like I'm supposed to push blocks into them, but I'm assuming there's not that many blocks in this room to move around. Yeah, of course, Alex. I'm having a good time. A lot of people have been telling me that I need to play this game. Because like I said earlier, I'm a big Zelda fan. I've played all the Zelda games. So 3D action adventure, you know, like this, this whole genre is really, it's really my favorite. Thank you for sharing the stream. Really, dude? Come on. There we go. I have all of the other Legacy of King games on PC. I got them on GOG.com. Uh, they were super cheap. So, Soul Reaver 2, Blood Omen 2. Um, Defiance, I got all of them on there. It'll take me a while. You can ask Aaron in the chat here. I don't stream the same game every, every time. So I'll play this once or twice, and then I'll go back to playing retro variety stuff for a while, then I'll stream, you know... A different playthrough a little bit or play an MMO or <laughs> it's probably why I have trouble sustaining growth on, on, uh, on my page but you know what that's totally fine I'd rather play what I want when I want look at the patterns on the floor the burning urns I don't see I didn't even realize you can move those Am I, I feel like, am I supposed to move this block? You can't move it. Okay, let's try going back in here then. I'm surprised the, the series has been dormant for so long. I feel like there would be a major audience for a game like this nowadays. I think it would have a lot of success. Oh, I see the little path. See, I didn't realize you could even move this, though. Boy, he looked up. What was that for? Oop, up, 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 up. I don't know why he's looking up like that. So Defiance is almost more like Devil May Cry. Okay, so a lot a lot more fast paced, that's cool. Sorry, I was reading chat, I totally missed what happened. But I'll I'll keep moving all these urns. Yeah, Razael would have been perfect for Soul Calibur, I totally agree with you there. Oh, I'm burning the support beams. Okay. See, it's stuff like this that if they did a remaster or a remake could really be streamlined. Because like these older games, they don't, they didn't typically signpost things very well in terms of what you're supposed to do or just like what makes sense to try to do. So like if I were to design a game like this in the modern day, you know, something along the lines of, you know, when you walk in this room, he would comment on, you know, those wooden support beams looking uh, fragile or something, and then saying, like, oh, if only there was a way for me to burn those or take those down. Like, just a small thing like that, I think, would have would have kind of made it a little more clear what I was supposed to do. Because I would have never thought to move these torch things.
Let me crack open my delicious Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry. Stream not sponsored by Pepsi. Okay, now what? I feel like something significant has happened. We fell down, right? Played more of these games on stream. Square Enix, to be honest, I'm making it. Black Juggalo Gaming? Is that, um, is that you, Will? I'm just making a wild guess here. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Must have missed something obvious. I thought I was paying attention. Oh, the floor pattern again? So you just have to keep moving the urns? Oh, I guess you do you have to put them in these four corners? Is that what it is? Is this some like magical Are you on the mobile app? If you're on the mobile app, it sometimes it switches if you're if you have a gaming page, it'll just like randomly decide to switch you pretty much. Um Okay, hang on. I need to switch back here. Heal. There we go. Yeah, I guess I do know. Um, I feel like this is a. It isn't really clear what I'm. Or was I just supposed to push them back? Maybe just all the way up in the corner? Is that what it is? Oh, in the corner, okay. It's another one that didn't really make a whole lot of sense, but it's all good. Every now and then, I'm like, wait, is this game really 20 years old? Because it doesn't seem 20 years old. And then, you know, kind of older game design logic comes into play like that. Whoops. downtown. Which way do I go? Oh, wait, nope, not that way. It's gotta be this way, right? Is this door open now? Well, well, well. What do you know? 
I feel like a boss fight's about to happen or something. I've played enough video games to recognize the long hallway circular room approach. Oh, look at that. Man, this music is good. Oh, dang, who the? Who Show is this yourself, guy? creature. Do you not recognize me, brother? The voice acting in this game is so changed. Is so good. Elkaya? Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will <laughs> beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. You awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last to die. Nope. Stay away from me, please. All right, what the hell am I supposed to do? Do I have any weapons? No? Okay. Drop on him. Nope. How did he do so much damage with just one hit, man? Trapped over there. I passed one. Oh, you can jump up here. Oh. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Now I gotta go. Find a spot to switch back. Where, where can I switch back? There we go. Nope, missed him. Oh my god. How's he gonna get out of here? <laughs> uh. <laughs> now what? Oh, he's gonna phase through it? Oh my god. Yeah, trap him in the center, and then go back to the crank, yeah. Okay, 
this should give me time to get over there. Got him. There we go. Thank you for the tip, Will. Appreciate it. Go, go. Can you do something with this now? What is going on with this crank? There, finally. Tell me, Melkaia, where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. Oh, that's a that's a way to die. Holy crap. Put them through the meat grinder. Do I get a new power? You have done well, Raziel. Am I reduced to this? A ghoul? A fratricide? Elevated, Raziel. Not reduced. Consuming Melkaia's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the Spectral Realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. So, Melkai's death. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool, Will. So, what did I get? Oh, I can pass through things now. That's cool. Okay. Am I just supposed to go back this way or is there something else down here? Let me look around a little bit more just to be sure. I don't think there's anything else up here, right? Yeah. I must have to just go back. So Will, Alex, anyone else in chat that's a Dreamcast fan, what are some of 
your other favorite Dreamcast games. Oh my god. That's where it just came from. I'm stupid. One game that I've always wanted to play because I love JRPGs is uh, Skies of Arcadia. I have it on Dreamcast, but I haven't played it. I've always wanted to play that one. It's just so intimidating because I know it's probably super long. I've also never played the Grandia games. I've got both of those remastered on PC. Do I just jump up here? No. Ah, there we go. This is where you're supposed to pull that out. I really don't have any idea where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'm just gonna backtrack until I get to an area that I can explore now that I couldn't previously. D2. I've heard of that one. I've heard good things about D2. I need to track that one down. Because that's an exclusive that never got ported anywhere else, right? It's kind of like Resident Evil. Is that... Probably NFL 2K. Return to the sanctuary of the clans, Raziel. Melchiah's soul has endowed you with the means to gain entry. Beware, however. This hollow derelict is abandoned, but not uninhabited. Cool. sure I've got my ringer on just in case there <clears throat> dad life you know uh, wait down there right hey thank you very much for hitting that like button I appreciate it um, so I should be able to go through this door down here, right? Yeah, there we go. These artifacts enhance your stamina, enabling you to prolong your material manifestation. Gather five to complete the emblem, and thereby augment your strength. Oh, that's, that sounds pretty cool. I definitely gotta check that one out then. D2, D2. One that I just recently found out about sounds awesome. It's like a space shooter, but it has RPG elements. It's called Armada. I never heard of that one. Someone on Twitter just told me about it today. Um, wait, do I go this way? I don't need to kill that guy. Man, how are you gonna stand there and fight me and then run away? I don't even know if this is really where I'm supposed to be going. But it's what we're doing anyway. Oh, 
I can't climb up there yet. Armada. Yeah, it is Willberry. I never heard of it until just today. Someone told me about it. It sounds really cool. I'm guessing I eventually get like a climbing ability for these kind of walls. But I don't think I have it yet. I'm assuming I'll eventually get the ability to swim as well. Man, come on. I'm really excited for the N64 game to come to the Switch. It's not a super huge deal, especially since I already have an N64 still. Oh, interesting. Where, where is this? But it'll just be nice being able to play this kind of games easily on streams and stuff, you know, without having to use an emulator or having to use an HDMI converter or, you know, it'll just be so much easier and simpler. Well, I don't think I can do anything here yet because I don't know what this is. keep taking the wrong turns and wrong passages. There's this, this is the one that I just got. There's a power-up? Is it not the one that I... I already got the power-up, didn't I? Or is there another one? Knock down the pillars there? Oh, okay. Duh. Knock down the pillars? Come on. How would anyone have assumed that's what you're supposed to do? That's a little silly. Come on. Yeah, I remember, because you can't interact with objects in the spirit world. fancy. Once acquired, these glyphs empower you with elemental lore. Each spell exacts a sacrifice of energy, however. Ah, oh, it's a spell? Use them sparingly and wisely. PS4 gra a Alex, I'm thinking bigger than that, man. Let's... I'm imagining this with PS5 graphics. Whoa. 
That was cool. Is that like a, a big like AoE attack or something like that? PS5 Pro graphics. Oh yeah, let's just go all the way. Let's go all the way. PS5 Pro. Systems that don't even exist yet. The Xbox Series Z. We're skipping the Y, going straight to the Z. Okay, where... How do I get back up? Like... go man oh up here up here right hallelujah I found my way out yeah that's fair Alex I have a ps5 um, long story short I used to be a video game journalist and Sony sent me my PS5 and Microsoft sent me my Series X. I don't know if I would have bought one yet, personally, if I uh, didn't have a reason to. Hey, thanks, Will. I appreciate it, man. Okay, so I think... I think I'm supposed to go... Back to that like crossroads area, right? You have a good night as well, Will. If you're ever looking for something to do around this time, I uh, stream th three, three or four nights a week usually. Um, I think it, I think it's this one, right? Back to the pillars? I don't know what that means, Alex. I'm sorry. Is this the pillars? I don't know. Is pillars what I'm thinking of? Is it that, like, crossroads central area place? I probably did not pick the most efficient way to get there. But that's pretty cool how far I flew. I'm just going to be running all the way back, I guess, because I don't know which fast travel icon to pick. Aw, oh, man. I don't even think I can jump there, can I? Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Oh, whoa. What's this? What is that? Hey, Dylan. What's up? It disappeared. Would it, be, would it have been possible for me to grab that thing? What was that? Oh, okay, I'm already full. I can only hold two. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Have you ever played this game, Dylan? I can't remember if you ever had a Dreamcast. This game's pretty good. Oh god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, do we have any... ...areas that I can kill this guy? No? Okay. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. 
boxing game <laughs> I think those are new enemies weren't they I don't I don't recognize those guys let's go ahead and save If you're watching right now, I would love it if you hit that like button. It does help the stream out. It helps it get in front of more people's eyeballs. If you want to share the stream as well, that is also appreciated. Drop a comment. Follow the page, all that good stuff. I'll be playing through this entire game over time. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't eat the soul for this crap. Must be getting close to that pillars crossroads area thing. Boom, baby. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the like. Okay, that's oh no, this way. Could have just fast traveled there, but whatever. I couldn't remember which icon it was. Where I came from, right? That's where I already went. This is really cool. So I can go this way now, I'm guessing. Oops. My bad. Back, but enjoy the view too. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go this way? I was supposed to go back even further. Yeah, it seems like that's the case, because I don't think I can do anything here. This game still looks remarkably good. It's really hard to believe that this game is 20 years old.
Whoops. Ah. I'll just leave you there. Because I don't have anything to kill you with. Okay, that's... Man, get off the wall. There's another fast travel thing here. I guess I need to just keep going back further and further and further. That's going to be exciting, Aaron. I'm really glad you turned me on to that show because I loved what I watched. Oh, that was a torch there. Am I just supposed to keep going back more and more, Alex? I'm just running back to the beginning of the game at this point. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Like, I'm literally back at the beginning, pretty much. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, wait! Nice! Oh, hi, Diane. I missed your comment. Sorry about that. fade through that? No. Doors I have to actually open. Thank you very much for liking. I appreciate it. That helps the stream out. I feel like this can't be right. Am I... Oh, wait. I, am I supposed to go all the way back to this? Is this where I was supposed to go? Is this what you meant by pillars? somewhere. convenient how high he can jump.
Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Can you open the door? Oh, duh. I can't because I'm not. Yeah. I'm stupid. Have to be physical to open the door. You have a great night as well, Alex. Thank you for stopping by. If you're not following, I would love it if you hit that follow button. I stream um, three or four nights a week, usually late around times like this. Yeah, I can't go in there either, man. sound is. It's creeping me out though. So I didn't even ask you, Aaron, how was, uh, how was your night at work? So that's my new one that I got. Oh, I'm pretty sure Diane's a follower here. I'm 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 fairly positive. Okay, let's go ahead and save since I have a new fast travel thing unlocked. One way you can always confirm, Diane, is um, if you type exclamation mark notify. That'll ensure that you fo are following and get notifications. Pin that comment. <clears throat> Facebook notifications are weird sometimes, though. You'll, yeah, it says you've already turned on notifications. But notifications are weird. Like Facebook kind of determines whether or not you get notifications based on like a variety of factors, like. If you had a lot of notifications pop up on your news feed recently, like if there are a lot of people liking and commenting on conversations or um, a lot of pages you follow went live or you know, you've got a bunch of notifications on Facebook, it might decide not to let you know when I go live just because you've already gotten a lot of notifications recently. And so you might not even get a notification until I've been live for 30 minutes or an hour. Well, that's funny. I'm going to just pin that one then, because I just got an auto-generated message that said the same thing. <laughs> I guess, do I need, oh crap. 
There is a gate underwater here, so I guess I need to go through that gate. Because I don't think I can open this door, can I? No. One thing that's really nice about this game, though, that's super impressive, and I didn't even realize it until just now, there has not been any load screens since the game started. It's all just one big, seamless, open world. And I think that's really impressive, considering how old this game is, that they were able to pull this off in 2000. do anything in here. What was the point of coming in here? Oh, that's good. Very good news, Aaron. Once again, lost on where to go, which is not surprising. Seems like it's super easy to get lost in this game. Let's see, are there more gates down here that I didn't see? I see enemies. Ah, there's a whole tunnel. Also go nowhere. Uh, I can't climb up there yet. Okay. I think I might consult the old strategy guide here and see what the best course of action is going to be. Let's see here. I got through Acropolis. I was able to defeat that guy. Looks like. Um, I'll the ramp spot the portal. Yeah, okay. I got the force glyph power. Okay, did all that stuff. I think I've done all of this stuff. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go because I'm clearly, clearly lost at this time. I don't really follow the strategy guide. It's a little confusing. Which is ironic, right? Like that. You would think a strategy guide would be really clear and just easy to follow, but that's not really the case here. Because the issue is that strategy guide tries to cram like 
12 screenshots onto a page. So they're all super tiny. And, he, and this game is very dark, so it's hard to really make out details about what I'm supposed to even be doing. So this is one of the warp gates. Okay, let's fly back down here. I must, it has to have something to do with this big boat thing, right? thing is just so huge. I can hear enemies, like, right on the other side of it. Oh, dude, I have the... the hardcover collector's version of that, of that guide. That thing is incredible. I love that thing. Honestly, the Bethesda game strategy guides, like, any Bethesda game, those guides are just a treat to flip through. They're written like, like storybooks, you know, it's like... But here, like, let me show you what I'm talking about here. You've got... This is the strategy guide for Legacy of Cain. And... Like, look at this. Do you see... How many screenshots this thing tries to fit on a single page? Like... You can't tell... What is even going on. There's just not enough details. Like, I'm trying to see here. Follow the corridor to the gated. Yeah, so I did that where the stone head thing gives you the glyph. Time in the material plane, walk left. The artwork in this thing is sick though, look at that. Like that is, that's one of the things I love about strategy guides is the artwork is just fantastic. Climb the ledges, spiral staircase, glide from the to reach the passage. Yeah, okay. I did that, got that. Turn to the material plane. The corridor, turn right. The sanctuary of the clans, turn up face the main doors, going to the vampires have been their way. What is that? Confused. I feel like I, I took a wrong turn somewhere or something. Like, maybe I wasn't supposed to... Maybe I wasn't supposed to go this way? I feel like I... Uh, 
I don't know. I genuinely can't tell because my one of my main problems with the strategy guide is that it refers to areas and locations and things by their proper name. But since there's no map or glossary or just like you know codex or something in this game, I don't know what it's talking about. Like the Valley of the Dead, you know, like, what is that? I don't know where that is. I guess I'll try fast traveling back over this way. I don't know. So there is something called the Lake of the Dead War. It shows an icon here. Let's see if I can find something that resembles this. It's got like a white, bright white line on the right side. even have those locations. There's so many. Holy crap. Well, that's not very helpful now, is it? Okay, maybe I can Google this Lake of the Dead War work gate icon or something so I can see which one I'm supposed to go through. Okay. It is this one. I never located that one. Wonderful. You got a, you got a violation for a comment. That's weird. <laughs> How bizarre! What did the comment say? That's so weird. Um. Okay, let's see if I can make heads or tails of this. Okay, I defeated the boss there. Okay, got the forest cliff. To the material plane, ship to the special plane of God that would pass through the gates, ship back to the Let me just go ahead and shift here. Wow, how dare you leave a comment like that? That's a horrible, horrible comment here. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jimster? How's it going, man? I'm currently stuck, 
so uh, you know, just having a good, good old Tuesday night here. There's a gate down here that I can pass through. Last time I checked this area though, I couldn't do anything. start running. Nothing happens after you get both of them. I can't jump up there. It's way too high. Yeah, the health bar in this looks a lot like the, you want to. You want to see it look even more like the Dreamcast logo? Check this out. Right now I'm in my spirit form, but if I shift back to the material plane, it literally becomes the Dreamcast logo. <laughs> Just a different color. I really gotta figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go, because... This is getting a little silly. through that gate. Maybe this way, I guess? I don't know. Nope, this is where it came from. I don't think it's this way. And it never rains here in California, ever. Ever, 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 ever. I hate it. See, I don't feel like this is where I'm supposed to go either. There's nothing here. Honestly, reached the point now where, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm tempted to just look it up on YouTube and watch a walkthrough live here with you guys, just so I can figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. I feel like this is. Probably the right location. But whenever I went through that gate up there, I just didn't find anything. So I'm just I'm just gonna do it. I'm doing it. We're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and look it up here. So let's go full screen on this. Go Soul Reaver walkthrough. Here we go, perfect. We got a full walkthrough here. Courtesy of D Factor Long Plays. 
This is excellent because that means there won't be any commentary. I know you, Razier. You are worthy. Swear. What madness? Forest Cliff Altar, I did that. Oh wow, the graphics are a lot worse on the PlayStation version. So I did all this. Oh, and it's like, looks like it's moving in slow motion. I always forget you can sneak up on people. I never do that. I don't even recognize where he's at right now. I must have missed something. Yeah, I remember getting this one. Yep. I was in this room, I remember that. To be honest with you, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and see if I can just find where he's at. And just follow along, basically. I'm literally right behind him, basically. Let's see if I can catch up to where he's going. Because I'm tired of being stuck. I'm probably gonna run past enemies though if I have a chance. Okay, so there's that passageway there. Thank you for hitting that follow button, I appreciate it. Sorry for the unorthodox moment in the stream here. I was stuck. So I'm actually watching a walkthrough to see what this person does. Because I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. Thank you very much for the like, I appreciate it. Dude, what is he doing right now? I feel like... Okay, see, I think I did all this already, so I might have just been wasting my time here. I thought I got that? The abyss has been un- Oh man, what the heck? Where the hell did he go to get all- to get here? This is what I get for trying to skip ahead. Thank you very much for hitting the like button, I appreciate it. Hey Kevin, yes I'm playing the Sega Dreamcast version of the game, that's right. How's it going Kevin? Right now I'm watching a playthrough because I'm actually extremely stuck in this game at the moment.
Um, and it's very frustrating. Uh, so I think I've actually, I found one part at least right here. I know I need to move this block like he was just doing. I can't say that I don't typically watch walkthroughs on stream, but I was completely lost on where to go. This game doesn't give you any direction whatsoever. So I apologize for the weirdness of that. phase through here and thank you for following the page as well Kevin I appreciate it come on can I pick up the stupid staff oh no I'm in spirit version I'm, I'm dumb I supposed to go through here let's see what our our buddy over at D factor long plays is doing well no I guess I don't, I don't need the magic right now do I Have you played this game before, Kevin? Are you familiar with this game? Let me go ahead and I'm gonna guess I need to transfer back to the material realm. I'm probably going to have to open a door here soon. Let's go this way. Time to take advantage of this fast travel. Have I not gotten that one yet? Is that the problem? Oh, you have to walk through. I'm a complete idiot. I thought you had to hit the like confirm button on it. Oh my God. Yeah, I got lucky. I found this Dreamcast on Facebook Marketplace. It had this game and a couple other random ones. Nothing really any good. This was really the highlight. And uh, controller, VMU, and um, it was a nice little bundle for like, I want to say it was like 100. So a pretty decent price. Is he following me? I no, decided not to follow me. Um, hang on a second. I completely missed where this guy went. In this walkthrough here. Okay, let's let's break this down. Where is this? Yeah, I did all this. Did all this. Yeah, 
I did all this already. Was I not supposed to go that way? Oh, I went the wrong direction, I think. He goes this way instead. Guys, gonna be the death of me after all this. Okay, good. They're not gonna be the death of me at this time. Yeah, I know. I know exactly what you mean. The retro gaming these days is just—it's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking on eBay earlier, and if you wanted Skies of Arcadia for Dreamcast, it's like $150. Just something so completely stupid. Legacy of Kaint stream. Oh, you, you got Mr. Funny Guy over here. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's up, Mr. Tough Guy? Just gonna slowly walk you over here. Yeah, to be honest with you, Kevin, I'm not really the kind of person that cares too much about like authenticity so much. I just want to play the games, but I play them in a way that's like authentic and good. So that's why emulating isn't really something I like to do for a lot of consoles. But a lot of people make reproduction Dreamcast discs of games. And there are websites out there where you can buy those repro discs for, you know, 20 bucks and you have a playable disc version of a game. Okay, here we go. So that's how I got Skies of Arcadia and a few other more expensive ones. Ooh. This feels, this feels important. All right, see you, Kevin. Kane. The oh, abyss has been is. unkind. I am your creation, Kane. Now, as before, you criticize your own work. What have you done with my clan, degenerate? You have no right. What I have made, I can also destroy, child. Damn you, Kane! You are not God! This act of genocide is unconscionable! Conscience? You dare to speak to me of conscience? Only when you have felt the full gravity of choice should you dare question my judgment. Your life span 
is a flicker compared to the mass of doubt and regret that I have borne since Mortanius first turned me from the light. To know that the fate of the world hangs dependent on the advisedness of my every deed, can you even begin to conceive what action you would take in my position? I would choose integrity, Cain. <laughs> Look around you, Raziel. See what has become of our empire. Witness the end of an age. The clans scattered to the corners of Nosgoth. This place has outlasted its usefulness. As have you. Oh, man. The Soul Reaver. Cain's ancient blade. Older than any of us and a Ooh. thousand times more deadly. The legends claimed that the blade was possessed and survived by devouring the souls of its victims. For all our bravado, yeah, you unconscionable. Knew what it meant That's a five-dollar word the right soul there. Soul Reaver in anger. It meant you were dead. Hold on. Hold on. I'm fighting a guy that can turn invisible. This doesn't feel fair. Okay. Damn. What the hell am I supposed to do in this fight? Here. How am I supposed to avoid that attack? There he is. I should have consulted my strategy guide on how to beat this. Honestly, at a complete loss, what I'm supposed to do in this fight. Okay, can I do this move? I don't know if that did anything. Okay. Ah. Yeah, so the thing with the spirit version is 
once you get enough life force back, you can you can go straight back. Dang it! I don't think there's any way to dodge that attack, which is the most frustrating part. That's even gonna hit him from this far away. No. Great. Be some there must be something around here, right? Surely there's like Oh god, it just respawns? Never mind. Change back to what? What do you mean, Jim, sir? I dodged the, um, the beam. If you jump at the right time, it seems like it, you can trick it, basically. Right there, right there, right there, right there. There we go. Okay. Sword break? What in the world? The blade is vanquished. So it unfolds. And we are a step closer to our destiny. <laughs> this was his master. This was the guy at the beginning of the game that uh, ripped his wings off. And. Um, I swore. Yeah. A glint of satisfaction in Kane's eye when the That's the guy you're trying to get revenge destroyed. on. I did not understand the game that Kane was playing. I knew a finishing move. From this moment and ever afterwards, you and this blade are inextricably bound. Soul Reaver and Weaver of Souls, your destinies are intertwined. By destroying the sword, you have liberated it from its corporeal prison and restored it to its true form, a razor blade, its energy unbound. No longer a physical blade, it can nice. only manifest itself in the material realm when your strength is fully restored. Once manifest, it will sustain you. That's cool. That's a pretty sick looking sword. What are you, little soul? Another of Cain's creatures come to taunt this bound specter. I did not intend to disturb your rest. Rest? A body is needed for sleep. Flesh and bones are required to recline. No, child. All I may do is watch, 
and remember, ceaselessly conscious as this wretched world's history unfurls. Ghastly past, insufferable future, are they one and the same? Am I always here? How have you come to haunt these pillars? Cain refused the sacrifice. The Pillar of Balance, corrupted to its core, stands as a monument to his blind ambition. Now these pillars serve only to bind me here, my prison and eternal home, thanks to the avarice of your master, Cain. That bastard can claim no allegiance from me. Then we share a common foe, Raziel. Return here when you have need. Ariel remembers what others have forgotten. Return here when you have need. I get the feeling I might need to come back here then. I don't know why it's... The noise is really annoying. Far in the eastern mountains, a stifled titan stands in mute surrender, unwilling host to a parasitic swarm. Okay, so what is that? That heals me. Oh, that's dope. I like this sword. What is that sound? It's really annoying. Is that, is it really the, is it the sword? Because I like the way the sword looks, but man, if it's going to be making that sound this whole time, can I sheath it? Can I just, can I put the thing away or something? Oh my god, that's going to drive me insane. I've been enjoying this game, but this is like one of the most annoying sounds of all time. Oh, well, the sword changes colors when you're in spirit world. Can I just like... faster but yeah it definitely does at least it's got really good reach too but is it worth it it's gonna be making that sound all the time Let's 
see, can I... Does this do anything? No. Thank you very much for the like, I appreciate it. Going, Bell. I really wish I knew how to turn off the sound effect. There's a high chance that I will literally not finish this game if I have to listen to that sound forever. See, look, the sword's gone now because I took damage, but the sound is still here. Okay. This has to be a bug. There's no other explanation. Okay. Thank God. Okay, it was just a bug. Oh my God. Seek out Zephon's lair, Raziel. Beyond the ruins that greet your exit from the underworld. Armed with the Soul Reaver, you may gain entry where your path was previously blocked. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'm glad that sound was just a bug because <laughs> I, I would not have finished the game. Literally. Oh, I, I haven't asked anybody. Does anyone want me to change my light color behind me? I can I can do it with the power of my own voice. It's like magic, guys. Sometimes doing nothing can be a good thing. Purple? Okay, Google. Change office TV light to purple. Bam. There you go. That's it. Oh my god. That was amazing. So now is where I'm getting, I'm not sure, Octarine? Octarine. I don't know what Octarine is. What kind of color is it? Let me, let me Google Octarine. From Discworld? I've got... I... I... <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, so I can't go that way yet. Can, maybe I can go this way now? I don't think so. Maybe it's... Hmm. 
I'm trying to think how to get back to that area I was at earlier. The color of magic and only visible to wizards and cats. <laughs> that's weird. And that's also weird, though. You can't see anything that Aaron's writing. Luckily for you, he's not very important, so that's fine. I'm just kidding. I think I might have a hunch on where I need to go. Maybe. My biggest gripe with this game is that it's just needlessly complex in terms of the world layout. Like, there's really no reason for it to be this complex. All it does is just force you to do a lot more backtracking than you really should. I think this is the most recent one. Okay, so maybe the sword can open that door then. Like, what's the point of having a fancy sword like this if you can't open doors with it? And there's a hole in the middle, right? So... Yeah, look at that. I'm a genius. Well, you know what? I think this is a pretty good stopping point.